I am reading your answers on what you would put in your outlaw Class C garage. It's Steve from Thor Motor Coach. I want to read a couple of these because I love, I love audience participation. I like all the comments. I appreciate everybody watching. So as I hit this up, all right, so we have... Rodney, a motorcycle, a kayak, and a bigger grill. You know what, Rodney? I would go motorcycle, too. I would go, let me think. There's so many I like. I'd go Aprilia RSV4 Factory, 1100 Factory. That will fit in a garage. That would be a nice ride. Kawasaki ZX-10R, another nice ride. Great, thank you very much. Merlin says a Vegas. Wouldn't it be great if, if you could actually fit a Vegas in here? You could put uh, an RV in an RV. I'd, can be a little a little much there, Merlin, as uh, you have a 1,000-pound weight limit in the garage, 1,800 on the patio. I do want to read your OCCC as I'm going to get that question here. So opening the door, it is 1,521 pounds. Your tip-to-tip -tip length on this, 31 feet, 2 inches. And then I love this answer. And I just, let me pull this back up here. Dave says, I'm looking for an RV that I can have an office area to work in remotely. You know what, Dave? Blank slate back there. We have a lot of people who actually do that in the garages of both our Outlaw C's and our Outlaw A's. They take and they retrofit their own office. They customize it to their needs. We have people who use these as kennels who are on the dog show circuit. So a lot of great options for people in an Outlaw. And it is a toy hauler, and I am going to talk about the garage here in just a few minutes, but I do want to talk about uh, up front. We'll just kind of give you a quick tour. This is just a quick rundown of the 2022. We were able to get a hold of this this morning. Uh, this is on your Ford E450 chassis. Uh, your GVWR is going to be 14,500 on this. You have that 7.3 liter Godzilla V8 under the hood. That's 350 horsepower, 468 pound feet of torque with an 8,000 pound hitch out back. Uh, we got some new graphics and some new paint. I really like this blue on here. It's kind of a, uh, a Motor C Blues is the color. Um, it's a neat dark denim color on this for you. And because this is a Class C motorhome, you do have the overhead bunk we'll show you. That is holding 800 pounds now. You have your side steps. You have a nice storage bay here. Nice rotocast material. You can fit whatever you need in there. And it clips up here so it won't come down and uh, pop you in the grape. You have the nice frameless windows. You have an awning with LED strips here so you can easily hit the awning button and you can put that out. We did have a little bit of rain, just a weird downpour. We were out here shooting and it just came out of nowhere. Uh, you hold that button down and your awning will come right out and then you are going to have all the shade you need. Maybe you want to sit under here. You want to catch your favorite uh, favorite game on the TV. You do have your uh, fresh water fill right here. It is gravity fed. So you just take your hose and you fill it up there. And the nice thing about gravity fed, you can take and use five gallon buckets if you need to. And we do have lights up there that are already on. Uh, you have your 110 outlets out here. And you're gonna open up your TV. There you go, look at that. On a swivel, you can go ahead and watch whatever you want. Some uh, exhaust, so when you're over here, be careful. And you have another nice storage bay over here. Camping chairs in there, whatever you need, and your exterior propane connection. And this is the grill we have. So if you want to bring along a bigger grill, you are more than welcome to. Going to take just a moment to see who else is watching. Uh, I enjoy doing this uh, with you folks here. Oh, I do want to mention um, that for everybody out there who is thinking, gosh, you know what? Mother's Day is coming up on Sunday. What would mom like? Mom would like an outlaw. That's what, uh, that take, give, give mom an outlaw. She'll love going places. You know where this would be great to go this weekend? And I'll give you an a insight into where we're spending our Mother's Day. We're going to go up to Holland. Uh, the Tulip Festival is going on, and it would be a great time to just head up there. Hopefully the weather will be like this. Uh, thumbs up from Edward Brandon. These outlaws are some of my faves. I love the garage and patio. We all do, Brandon, and that's what this is about. So let's take a look out, out here. Tom, uh, what is going to be the best way? I don't want you to climb up there at that can. You want to go through? Yeah. Tom's going to go through, and I'm going to meet you out back. I'm going to meet you out back on our patio. Again, in this outlaw, you have 1,800 pound capacity on the patio and then 1,000 in the garage, opening the door. And hey, look at that. Tom gave you a sneak peek inside. So you do have a bunk here. I'll show you how that works. I do want to show you here. People are going to ask. All right. So 
Department of Transportation has me at six feet and one half inch. Just went for our CDL physicals a few months ago. They measure you. So my head comes right here. So you do have room to walk. This bunk does does drop down, and I'm wearing my uh, my fancy boots with the high my high heel boots today. Um, you do have tie downs back here. So if you're bringing along your motorcycles, your kayaks, whatever it is, uh, you do have places to mount them. You have these nice D rings here. This is is really neat. I want to talk about this for uh, a few minutes because you can do so much stuff. Uh, over here, you have your Bluetooth coach radio system that is app enabled. You have your speakers right here so you can uh, pump out the jams. You have some controls for your lights, little jump stations. So let's say your ATVs or whatever it is isn't, isn't starting. You can go ahead and use this and jump start them from there. You have a vent. So if you're uh, doing some something in that's running in here, you're doing some uh, mechanical work, uh, you can go ahead and vent there. USB charging for your tablet. Maybe you have this set up as a drone station. This is our, our Mavic Air 2S. So maybe you have it all set up here and you're ready to go and you got the, you got the FAA vest and you're going to, you know, somebody's going to be on their motorcycle and you're going to get some really cool drone shots of them. Nice place for that. Maybe tools for, um, maybe tools for working on, on all of your motorcycles and toys and all of that. I'm going to go over here to, you know what, I usually do Facebook. I usually look through the Facebook comments. So let's see what we got going on on YouTube this morning. All right, uh, as it repopulates here, and all right, it's not uh, it's not streaming for me, Tom. That's all right. So I'll just keep going here. So back here, you do have your TV, your own air conditioner back here, a nice little shelf to put whatever it is, a nice little nightstand on here. Here we go, there we are. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and watch this. And I'm gonna go ahead and, as you're there, Tom, I'm gonna go ahead and drop this uh, bunk down. You do have some storage back here for whatever it is you may need. And we go ahead and we put our bunk, you know what, you gotta make sure this is in the up position or you will smash your drone. And that would not go over well with the boss. So we're just gonna move droney inside here. How about that? We'll set him right over here in the overhead bunk, which now has an 800 pound capacity, and we will continue with putting our bunk down. And we'll put this drawer up. I got the, put the drawer up now from Tom. You have to practice that. All right, so as this bunk goes down here, look at this, so there's a great sleeping area back here. You also have uh, sleeping up front, and when we get up in there, we will show you, uh, we'll show you how that works there. And, all right, this is coming down here. All right. How long is this unit? Just answered that one, Carl. I can go back up and look. I believe it was 312. Hello from Twinsburg, Ohio. Hi, Lenny. Thanks for watching. Uh, Rodney, love the product. My 21 Condom LC25 is great. Glad to hear that, Rodney. Thank you very much. And here we go. So we have this nice bed here. Factory wrapped. And so you can put it at whatever height you want. Uh, you can, I'll just show you the size here. All right. So, all right. Oh, look at that. All right. So see, look at that. I fit fine. And again, I'm just over six foot. So you got nice sleeping here. You have the overhead bunk. This is really comfortable. And the sun's out. Patty, you can take a nap back here. And if you're thinking, well, I want some privacy. You know what? You have privacy shades back there with a the nice magnetic strip. So you can go ahead and put those up. I'm going to raise this so I can get back through here. And then I will show you the awning. All right, let me mute that. And let me see who is over here on the Facebooks today. All right, refresh that. Appreciate all your questions coming in. Hey, you know what? All these products are actually up now on ThorMotorCoach.com, the 2022 models. All the specs and features are right there for you. As this goes up here, I do want to maybe scroll down just a little bit here. All right. And, and, all right, there we go. As this goes up here, Tom is on the patio. You do have the rail system in place there, so you can go ahead and uh, cordon that off, if you will, so you have your nice little patio. As this bunk continues to go up, I am going to walk in the back and show you the the magnetic curtains here and on a bright day like today when it is sunny you do have your own individual awning back here you hook up a little hand crank and then you can go ahead and you can crank out your awning and you can adjust that 
here are the magnetic curtains I'm telling you about. They are right down here, little D-ring down there. Keeps them all in. You close them, you have a magnetic strip, then you keep the bugs out, and you have some nice privacy. So let's head on in here, Tom. We've covered this area really, really well. All right, and watch, uh, there you go. Coming in here, we do have some nice storage, a couple of closets, maybe a pantry, whatever you want. We have a few things stored in here. Right now, we do have our seat cushions. We kind of just moved them out of the way here. These are for when the, civil, uh, the seats are swiveled. You can set those in there. It gives you a little more leg height. Uh, you do have uh, the closet in here, a little hanging place in there, a little garbage can in there right now. We're just, again, we're shooting, so we're just kind of rearranging things so they're not in the shot. Uh, let's do the kitchen and then you can, I'll shut the door behind you. You take a step and then we'll head into the bathroom. Control panels back here. If you want to know how to use every feature on it, we do have a complete video on our YouTube channel that goes over all the features of uh, your control panel, your climate control, your one touch leveling jacks. Those do come standard on this. Over here we have a microwave. We do have our three burner gas cooktop giant drawers for storage. I know you're thinking, oh, that's an oven. No, it is not an oven. It is a lot of storage because we want to maximize the storage for you. More uh, nice cabinet work up here. More drawers down below. You do have the covers for your sink. So if you're cooking up apparently some crusty fish with some peppers, set your cookbook there. You do have the flip up countertop extension. You do have the pull down sprayer on your sink here. And I will let Tom take a quick look into the bathroom here. It is all set up for everything you need for fun adventures wherever you go. You have uh, your sink, you have your shower, and if you're wondering if you're off-road, you're doing some dirt biking, you do have uh, 40 gallons of fresh water, your black tank is 30 gallons, and you have 34 gallon gray tank on that. So that's your capacity back here when you are uh, in here, just a... Uh, you know, sometimes you do need that, uh, you need that break. You have, like the towel hooks, you have your fridge. And as we get up into your living area, look at this. You have opposing seating here. And the nice thing is, is about these tables, you can put them here, you can put them here, you can put them here, you can put them there. So however you want to arrange them, you can go ahead and arrange it. This actually folds out uh, into a sofa. So you got a couple of sofas here that uh, will fold into sleeping areas. You have nice storage up above all throughout. You got your backpack shoved up there. Just like that, so you're going to go on a little, a little trek through the woods there, or maybe unload uh, the dirt bike or the the side by side. 800 bunk sleep pound sleeping capacity up here in the bunk. You do have your TV, uh, HDMI distribution boxes in here, and you have your telescoping ladder. And the nice thing about this is it's really easy to store. Uh, it just comes off. Ooh, don't knock your computer down, Steve. And you just press the buttons, and down it goes. And then you go ahead, and there's a, a place in the closet back there that it stores. Uh, the cockpit up here, we talk all about that in our How to Use Your Outlaw Class C video. So if you'd like the complete walkthrough of all the features and bells and whistles, go ahead and check that out on our YouTube channel. In fact, we have one for every product that we make. So if you are an outlaw owner, go ahead and watch that. Or if you have something on order, I know uh, Annie D has... I believe a Gemini. She watches all the time, and we appreciate that, Annie. Uh, on the way, go ahead and watch that for, for every brand. It'll take you through. I mean, it really just walks you through every single feature, every single bell and whistle. Um, so check all of those out. A lot of customer service videos for you, how-to guides, everything you need for a nice camping trip. So we are just in the middle of this. We do have to take and put that drone up and get some nice some nice aerials of this outlaw for you, but look for the full video to come, okay? This is just a quick look through, just a quick mention of a couple of the features, a couple of the specs, the full video. We're gonna run through all the decors and your wood choices and get this baby out for an RV road test and put the hammer down and let you know how that Ford V8 feels. We're going to do all that for you. So if you would like to see that for not only the Outlaw, but for every product we make, if you are on YouTube right now, hit the subscribe button. We appreciate it. We thank you. Give this video a thumbs up, a like if you would. We appreciate that as well. And hit the notification. That way you can be sure that your favorite Thor Motor Coach product video will be right at your peepers, right at, you'll get the notification when, when it comes down. So you can watch that uh, when that releases and we're, we're, we're able to get about two motorhomes, one, two motorhomes shot a day. And when we do, we bring at least a, a take a couple minutes out to give you a quick live look here because 
It's a lot of fun. Breaks up, uh, breaks up the day, and I always enjoy interacting with you. Much, I'd love to hear your camping stories. So we are going to wind this one down here oh, on YouTube. Hit like and subscribe. Facebook, go ahead and hit like and subscribe. And if you're not subscribed to our YouTube channel and you're watching this on Facebook, pop over to YouTube and subscribe. Same if you're watching this on Periscope. Head on over. That way everybody gets all the notifications. So we're going to wind this down. Thanks for uh, everybody. You know what, Rodney? Call the, uh, call the parts department. Can you buy those ladders? I don't know if they're selling those in the parts department or not. But... Um, Go ahead and call the parts department. You can find the information there on thermotorcoach.com. Tom says, nice unit. Thank you very much, Tom. We appreciate that. Uh, thanks for watching. Those are our, 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 face, our YouTube comments. I usually am on Facebook, so I just want to try and hit all the, all the mediums. So thanks for watching. We're going to wrap it down. Everybody enjoy your weekend. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there on Sunday. We, we appreciate all the things that moms do for us. And if it's been a while since you talked to your mom, Give her a call on Sunday, all right? Don't forget. And don't forget to subscribe so the next time we're out here shooting a video, you will be able to see it. Bye, everybody, and have a great weekend.